FTV, first of all, good to see you, man, because I know, you know, this time last year, the old Grenfell thing and that, you know what I mean? And you're looking well, you're looking well, but not well after that performance. Listen, you can't say it was a terrible performance because we fought back from 2-0 down, you know, but ultimately it's a defeat. Yeah, it's a defeat at the end of the day. I think the positives are the fact that we come back from 2-0 down. We show some spite and spirit. If that was under Wenger, I, I'd be, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if that went to 6-0. So the positives are we did come back but the, the downside is, I mean, you've got two strikers two years ago, the most lethal strikers in Europe. Aubameyang and Lacazette scored the most goals in their leagues. And it's like Aubameyang starts, Lacazette can't. I mean, every time Lacazette has become on for the last three they've got to start together. They do need to start together. You can see that sort of bond between them, that they have a really good connection. They know how to play with each other and stuff like that. These big games now, I wouldn't start Ozil. I wouldn't. I mean... He's a great player for the small team, small games against the likes of Fulham and stuff. But when he comes to play against the big teams, his work ethic is not good enough. And I mean, going forward, OK, we had a very bad start to the season. All right, we, we played two of the probably top six. That's not a good start. But I mean, the positives are uh, we have to give Emery, Ch Emery Ch a chance to play the way he wants to play. I mean, today, a lot of people were shouting, saying, why are you not just hoofing the ball, Czech, and stuff like that, criticising Czech. Let's get this right now. Czech is a 38-year-old goalkeeper playing inside. At the end of the day, you need to give him, we need to give him the respect that he deserves. I mean, he's trying to play a new system that he's never played before and he needs to be shown a bit more respect for that. And I think moving forward, some of the comments that Sam Allardyce has made this week, I mean, about why is Emre playing this sort of style of football against Man City and stuff, it's disgusting. But you know, you saw some good signs today. The good so, I mean, to be honest, right, if you analyse that game, we had so many chances. We shouldn't be walking away with a defeat. Uh, for end, of the, end of the first half, we should be 5-2 up. No doubt about it. We missed three sitters. I mean, I would have scored them. He would have scored them. I mean, that's the end of the day. That's football. We don't take your chances. not going to score. Yeah. I mean, the positive side, like I said, I mean, I, mean, I want to see a bit more of the pressing. I mean, when we're pressing, it doesn't seem like we're all pressing as a team. And that's, I think, that's a really bad thing. But the good thing for me today is that my little foster brother, he got a uh, check's top. So he got checks top at the end of the check shirt. Check shirt. Oh, brilliant so by check. Really but yeah, positive things will come, hopefully, give it a couple more games, then we can start saying, all right, where, what's happened for the last couple of months?